Hey guys, what's going on? So today I want to take a look at input monitoring. So in some of my other tutorials where we're going over recording, you may have seen me turn input monitoring on in order to be able to hear what I was recording through Logic. And that's a good way to hear whatever you're recording through some effects as well. Um, but you may have also noticed that input monitoring uh, seems to be a little weird. So if you move off the track that you're input monitoring, you don't hear it anymore. And if you're playing back audio while you have the track record enabled, so if you want to play back the project so you can kind of play along with it to practice your part first, um, you may not hear your input monitored signal anymore either. So there's a setting of change to make that behave better so that you can always hear the input monitor signal no matter whether or not you still have that track selected or even if you're playing back audio and want to be able to play along. So I got two tracks in this project right now just for demonstration purposes. There is a classic electric piano track one, classic electric piano. Group. And, track two, audio one. Group. and audio track. So on this audio track, I'm going to enable input monitoring, and then you're going to hear me through the microphone that I have routed in Logic. In track two, zero, plus zero points input monitoring. Uncheck. Checkbox. Check input monitoring. Checkbox. And now you should be able to hear me through Logic. And I just tapped on the microphone in Logic, so you heard that. So if I stop interacting with this track, on track two, audio one, group. and I now go to the classic electric piano track, track one, classic electric piano, group. you won't hear me. In fact, you now hear me through my narration mic again and not through logic. Um, so how do we fix this so that you can always hear yourself? Um, let's see here. I'm going to go back. Track two, audio one, group. Now you can hear me again through logic. And I just tapped that microphone again. So how do you fix this? First, we need to go into preferences with command comma. Pre preferences, dialog, preferences. And I'm going to jump to the top of this window with via home. Toolbar. Interact with toolbar. toolbar. 11 items, general, selected button. Go to audio. Audio button. Press audio button. Select that. Audio toolbar. And now I need to select the general tab once I stop interacting with the toolbar. So I'm going to navigate through the tabs in the audio section and select general. Devices selected tab. General tab. Two of six. Press general selected tab. Two of six. We got general selected. Now we just got to navigate through the window to find the setting that we're looking for. Editing tab. I slash assignment. Audio file editor tab. Five of MP3 tab. Six of display audio engine overload message. Sample accurate automation. And let me slow down voiceover a little bit here. Volume 55%. Voice automatically select base rate 100 percent, 95 percent, 90 percent, 85 percent, 80 percent, 7, 60 percent, 65 percent. Closing rate sample app. All right, so I'm going to continue navigating through this window. So you select the general tab and you're looking for the section called software monitoring. Volume hey, automatic bus assignment all buses. Pop up software monitoring check checkbox. So this is a software monitoring section, and you see that it's checked. So software monitoring is enabled now. GarageBand requires the input monitoring button to be on and the track to be either focused or record enabled. Check. Checkbox. So you see that setting right there it says this is using the same setting that GarageBand uses where the input monitor track has to be in focus for you to hear the input monitor signal. So if we uncheck this. Uncheck. GarageBand requires the input monitoring button to be on and the track to be either focused or record enabled. Checkbox. Now we can have our input monitor signal without the track having to be in focus. And now we can also hear the input monitor signal when we're playing back our project and have um, the track record enabled. So I'm going to close that as this. Garage band now in, untitled. And you see, we still got that mic on. Track one, classic electric piano, group. Navigate to the classic electric piano, and we can still hear ourselves. And if something was playing back on this track, we'd still be able to hear the signal that we're input monitoring. So hope you found that helpful. Hope that was useful. If you got any tips or tricks of your own that you'd like to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And until next time, happy recording.